Hello, my name is Ayman Aburab. I work for Juniper Networks Education Service Department. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview about 6PE, which helps service providers to offer IP version 6 services using their current MPLS IP version 4 network without any change to their current core infrastructure. Service providers usually offer IP version 4 layer 3 VPN, layer 2 VPN, and VPLS services as their network generally uses protocols where as you can see the IGB can be OSP for ISIS used for internal communication and loopback reachability MBGB will be used to exchange VPN information between the PEs route, such as route target labels and so on and LDB and or RSPP will be used to establish LSP between PE routers. And generally, the traffic will be forwarded like this. So the PE will push two labels, the inner label used to identify the VPN and assigned by MBGP. The outer label is used for reachability between the PEs and assigned by RSVP or LDB. And if we move to the P router, they simply swap the outer label regardless of the content or the type of this packet. It can be related to layer 2, uh, layer 2 VPN, layer 3 VPN, or even the PPLS. So, how can service provider offer IP version 6 services with a minimum configuration, minimum software, hardware change? The answer is simple 6PE or 6PBE. In this learning part, I will focus on 6PE. 6PE will make service provider offer IP version 6 services and at the same time use all the benefits of MPLS infrastructure like fast reroute, traffic engineering, and so on. In 6PE, the core router are completely untouched. No hardware, no software upgrade, and no configuration at all. The configuration will be done only on the 6PE, in the PE router, where, wherever you want to offer IV6 services, by simply making this, the PE router a dual stack router. Another benefit of 6PE that is really easy to configure as we're going to see later on. So let's see how 6PE actually works. So the CE routers can be dual stack or IP version 6 only. In this case, as you can see, the CE routers is running routing protocol to exchange IP version 6 route. Here it is EBZB over IP version 6 plot. 6PE2 router learn this IP version 6 route from the CE2 and install it in its INET 6.0. Remember, no VRF configuration in here. 6PE2 will advertise this IP version 6 route to 6PE1 using the current existing IBGB IP version 4 session. You just need to add another address family for IP version 6 and send label explicit one. Don't worry, in Jules it's just adding another comment, only one comment. The 6PE1 receives IP version 6 route and install it in its INET 6.0. Then 6PE1 will advertise to 6CE1. But how can we send a tunnel IP version 6 traffic over IP version 4 MPLS cloud? First, let's remember the default behavior for Junos, which resolve 
the next hub for IP version 4 BGP route using the entry inside INET.3 table. Normally, INET.3 table contains a destination for your LSP created by LDB and RSVP. That makes us forward IP version 4 traffic over IP version 4 MPS LSP. We will move to IP version 6. The default behavior is the same, but our INET 6.3 table is empty as you didn't create IP version 6 LSP. So, how can we forward IP version 6 traffic over IP version 4 MPLS LSP with empty INET 6.3 table? The answer is simple set protocol MPLS IP version 6. Finally, just one comment will do this magic. This command will convert all the routes stored in INET.3 routing table to IP version 4 compatible IP version 6 addresses and then copy them into INET 6.3 routing table. For example, here I have in INET.3 my INET.3 table the route 192.168.8.1. It has been converted to the IP version 4 compatible IP version 6 address and copied into INET 6.3 table. So let us see how the IP version 6 traffic will be forwarded over IP version 4 MPLS cloud. There's the CE1 send IP version 6 bracket power the 6PE. One. The 6PE1 will check its INET 6.0 for this destination. Remember, it's not a VRF type of configuration. So the lookup will be done using the main IP version 6 table, which is INET, INET 6.0. 6PE1 will push two labels. The outer label, assigned by LDB or RSVP, which provide the reachability to the 6PE2, the other range. The inner label, learned from the 6PE2 and in June 6PE implementation, this label is always IP version 6 explicit null with value of 2. I will explain the benefits of this label in a moment. Then, the 6PE1 forward sends the traffic to the P1 and the P1 intended to be E2 and so on. Inside the core, the core routers will forward the traffic based on the outer label only, regardless what type of traffic is that. It can be IP version 4, IP version 6, or even traffic related to layer 2 VPN or VPLS. So nothing has made change for the routers in the core. Until the packet reach P3. So P3 need to do penultimate hop popping and remove the outer label. And here's why we need another label. Because without the inner label, meaning if we send it with only one label, P3 will have to do IB version 6 lookup, which is not our target in 6PE, where we want to have a free IB version 6 core. Note, for the inner label, the RFC number 4798 states it may be an RP3 label values. Based on that, June 6PE implementation use a value of 2 for the inner label. Then the packet will be then the 6PE2 router will drop the remaining label and forward the IV6 traffic tower CE2 based on its IN6 table. Finally, let's see, another, let's see another benefits of 6PE, which is the configuration. It's really easy to be configured. As you can see, the configuration here for the core routers, it's the same configuration that you, you may use for offering layer 3 VPN I version 4, layer 2 VPN, VPLS, and also 6PE. So nothing has been changed for the router as a core. For the CE routers, the customer routers, it can be a dual stack or IP version 6 only. Here is for example, it's run IP version 6 only and running EBGB 
over i vj6 with a 6p. Well, for the PE routers, here is in red the two common that you, that will do all the 6PE magic. So the first one is set protocol MPLS IP version 6 tunneling. This command, as we have seen before, will convert all the entry in INET.3 table into IP version 4 compatible IP version 6 addresses and copy them into INET.6.3. The other comment is family INET6 label unicast explicit null. This comment, you will add it over your existing IB version 4 IBGB session between the PEs, which will make them advertise a label value of 2 for the 6P, as we discussed before. For more information about 6PE and other IB version 6 topics, please check day one books exploring IB version 6 and advancing advanced IB version 6 configuration and for more detailed configuration you can check Juniper documentation. Thank you for watching and I hope it was informative for you. Juniper Learning Bytes. View more at www.juniper.net slash learning bytes. They're free, concise lessons on specific subjects, relevant for all skill levels, taught by training experts, and available whenever and wherever you're ready to learn. Juniper Learning Bytes. Expand your knowledge bit by bit.